And welcome back. 614 right now. Back in September, we featured a story about a mobile man who went homeless on purpose. His 90-day mission to raise money for the homeless and find out what resources are needed to help people get off the streets. He completed his journey December 31st and is now preparing to donate the money he raised to a local group that builds shelters for the homeless. WKRG News 5 Shimani Baker caught up with him and joins us live now with more on his unusual way to help the down and out in our community. Good morning, Shimani. Good morning, Bill. Well, after after three months of living in odd places under uncomfortable weather conditions, meeting people from all walks of life, Eric Overstreet has completed his homeless on purpose journey. Overstreet spent his first 40 days living under a bridge on I 65 and Highway 90, and then he moved into a tent for the rest of his journey. Overstreet says majority of the people he encountered had mental illnesses, some of which were running away from abusive situations or had just fallen on bad times. Through his journey, he has managed to raise more than his initial goal of $20,000 in pledges for Driftwood Housing. He also contributed to opening a shelter that provided many homeless people with a secure place to sleep. He even helped send 15 or more of them to rehab. Overstreet believes the solution to ending the ongoing homelessness issue is by first having some compassion for others. I wanted to put a face on these people and let people see that they are normal people just like me and you. Every single story is different. I found that out. They're not even similar. Like every story is different. Every person's situation is different. So how you take care of this is you take one person at a time as a community and find out what they need and nudge them in the right direction. It just made me look at people differently, maybe the way God sees them. Overstreet says even though his homeless on purpose journey has come to an end, his journey of helping people will never stop. He wants to continue getting people off the street and help open more shelters. He also plans to write a book about his experience in the near future. Live in studio, Shimani Baker, WKRG News 5.